Hello, welcome after another break. I'm going 6 1 with my Horse of Agro deck with uh, life in something in a quick uh, draft M21. This hand is good enough, opponent goes first, so uh, keeping a uh, 2 under is, isn't bad. Shouldn't be bad. And I have two two drops and a two mana spell. So even if I stop on two lands for for a short time it shouldn't be too annoying. Okay, so I have my third land now. So yeah, I, I had a one, two, two drop, not two, two drops. I uh, mixed uh, something up with this goal. So, so, okay, so my opponent seems to stop on. Being uh, being aggressive can be very good for me in such situation, but the goal is just exchanging with Corister, and I, I thought it's better to just play this uh, battlements before combat, and maybe I will play feat of resistance later.
So yeah, Dab is coming, but I think I'll, I just want to do this before combat, so... So let's see if they have this Rangers guy up. Yeah, so my opponent had bad luck here. I'm happy with my score, but here uh, they it wasn't a fair game. Just uh, just unlucky for for them. But still, maybe my deck showed uh, some power level again, and uh, I tapped uh, mana wrong here. When I was casting feet of resistance, I should have uh, not uh, not uh, leave it uh, uh, to auto tapper, but tap uh, two white mana. I thought about it later that uh, I I don't. Uh, so maybe I could uh, I could uh, draw another feet of resistance, but I have more. Uh, I had more copies of Grasp of Darkness in, in my deck than White Instance, so so when sacrificing this uh, uh, goal, I should have just uh, uh, tap uh, in a way that would leave uh, two, uh, two swamps untapped if I top decked, and I top decked Grasp of Darkness, but if I top decked it, I, sh I would have. Uh, mm -hmm. Have uh, the option to to kill their dryad at the end of turn, and and then uh, maybe um, maybe I could have uh, uh, kill a chorister in in response to to dab. Maybe they they drew the rangers on the next turn, and even if not. It was a better spot to, to give them this plus one plus one because on my on my turn I I could just attack with five four, and they wouldn't have uh, four four but uh, but uh, three three first strikers so so that that was a mistake I suppose so, so it wasn't that big but but it it mattered in, in this game actually. Because I, 
I think I have only two copies of Fit of Resistance of, of White Instance and I had uh, have uh, had one in my graveyard and both uh, of these uh, cards in, in the library then so, so more probability than BB is, is better for me than to 1B uh, uh, WB uh, of, of untapped uh, mana sources Okay, but luckily I managed to win anyway. Uh, thanks for watching this game, and if you're interested, let's uh, check out what will I open in my two boosters. Okay, so I, I think we can call it a live game deck with two choristers and speaker, and uh, some recursion of, of uh, live linkers and dub. Uh, Boosting power of life linkers, I think it was pretty much revolving around uh, enabling Speaker of Heavens, but it was also an aggro deck, I, I think. With this Hollow Blade and Chip Creatures and up and Combat Trick and the Dryad that could uh, grow uh, very well for a 2 drop. Okay, let's. Uh, uh, See what's in these boosters. So twenty gems here. And uh, nothing is constructed playable, I suppose. So this maybe is the most potential if some Celestia counters be playable in standard. But I don't uh, think they played this card because I saw some Celestia counters deck a while ago. And I don't uh, play standard very often, so I don't know the current meta game. So this is probably too weak for some white winnie decks and this uh, I don't uh, think so. This will be playable and constructed. It is a neat way to, to get rid of, of some planeswalker when you're about to, to uh, cast uh, some sweeper on the next turn. But uh, I don't uh, think there's a need for such card to, to so, so the decks that uh, ask for sweepers don't play that many place planeswalkers probably. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, I don't uh, think so. It, if it was re exile target non-land permanent, and then you had a good way to deal with the flyer, it it would be much more interesting for constructed but still the, the drawback is is pretty huge because uh, for for flying isn't just some uh, random uh, creature that's not a big threat this is a threat you you should uh, you should mind so so maybe it's more appealing as a as a, a counter spell for removal that uh, that upgrades your creature so, so if you're, mm. you're the aggro deck and, and uh, they play some spot removal not a sweeper against your annoying creature and you get even more annoying uh, flying threat that could be nice but it's still uh, Mm, quite quite weird. I, I don't think it's it's good enough to construct it, but it's the closest maybe this. Uh, but I think all, aggressive white decks have also better creatures available. Okay, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't seen some of the videos of this draft, uh, 
drafting, building attack or some of the previous games. Uh, there's a link to the whole playlist in the description, so I hope I will see you in uh, some other uh, video uh, on my channel. Bye.